Hey guys, it's me Soda. Welcome back to another video. This is a video I haven't done in a while. I thought I would introduce you guys to my new animal, which is a rabbit. Now, I've never owned a rabbit before. This is my first time ever owning a rabbit, but I've been really liking it and it kind of happened unexpectedly. I didn't intend on owning a rabbit, but it just happened <laughs> and it's been going really well. I love her so much. I've had her for about a week now, but I filmed a lot of clips of her, so I will put those throughout the video. But yeah, I wanted you guys to meet her. I'm really sorry about this filming angle being very weird. I'm not really sure how to film this because I want you guys to see her. Yeah, this is my new baby. Um, her name is Basil. Always wanted to name an animal Basil, and I just think it suits her so much. <laughs> so you may be able to tell by her colouring that she is actually a wild rabbit or an ex-wild rabbit which also makes us a bit different to owning a usual bunny um, but the reason why I have a wild rabbit is because she was actually rescued sorry Tofu is attacking his bell so my cousin actually rescued Basil when she was a baby my cousin has like a paddock of land because she rescues horses and stuff and her dog found this little baby so she raised her took care of her and because she already has a lot of animals to care for she asked me if i was interested in having her and you know i thought about it for a while i was like okay i've never had a rabbit before so it's you know a big thing but i thought about it watched a lot of videos i mean i already knew a lot about rabbit kit anyway because i always watch um rabbit youtubers <laughs> She just did a binky. Um, I used to watch like a lot of like Lynn and the Bunny. Um, Victoria Rachel has made a few rabbit videos as well. And a lot of other YouTubers that make rabbit videos because I just, I like watching animal care videos. So I thought, you know what, let's, let's do it. And I'm glad I did because she is the sweetest rabbit ever. <laughs> um, I did not expect her to be as tame as she is since she is an ex-wild rabbit, but she is super tame. She's very friendly, she loves pets, and she also loves my dog, and my dog likes her as well, which is very nice, I'm glad, because obviously it wouldn't work out if they didn't like each other. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to show you guys like my current setup for her. I'm still new to roaming rabbits, so the setup probably isn't perfect. My ultimate goal for her is to free roam her, which I have been doing, but... The only thing is that she keeps going inside the couch, which is quite dangerous for her because it's like a mechanical, you know, couch with a, you know, has like footrest that comes out and stuff. So I'm just trying to find a way of, to like make sure she doesn't do that and then I can keep letting her out. We still let her room around like half of the like lounge and kitchen. I do want to get her some more stuff. <laughs> She's running around me. So this is her current set up. This is how it's like most of the time where it's open like this. So she has lots of space to run around. I do close uh, this cage at night. I worry about her like escaping the bars of this or something. So this is actually a large like dog cage and then same with this like gate part. It's like a dog or small animal like gate. I definitely want to get some more like things she can play in um, because I had a like a bed in this corner which you'll see in some of my clips. I just took it out today because she was using that as a litter box, <laughs> which is fine. At least she like, you know, had an area where she was going, but it needs a very good wash now because she was peeing in it. Um, I'm hoping to try to get her to use that as a litter box, but instead she was using the bed. So I'm still trying to figure out how to get her to use this instead. Maybe I just need to not put hay in the bed area because I, I don't know. I need to get a hay feeder as well. I want to get a hay feeder. Um, and I want to get her, like, I've seen people with these cool, like, wooden, like, box house kind of things. So I want to try and find something like that somewhere. But, like, the pet stores near me don't sell things like that. They don't have much small animal stuff. So I'm probably going to have to find somewhere online to get that. So that's why I'm just using a cardboard box, like, right now. This just, she does have a little bit of hiding space. But I definitely want to make that better. Um... <laughs> But yeah, she's got lots of like toys that she has destroyed. This was part of a hanging carrot toy, which she totally destroyed. Um, she's got some like wooden, like chewy ones in here. She loves the blanket. She loves pulling the blanket around. It's really cute. Um, she also loves this. She throws it around and she loves cardboard stuff. And this I think is an old bird toy that I had. And yeah, so that's like what I have currently. Oh, she also has this tunnel over here, um, which can be bigger, like 
I, if we open this part up, I set it up so it's, you know, bigger for her. But yeah, she likes her tunnel. So I've been using uh, meadow hay for her, but Timothy hay is also very good. And I think a lot of people will mix these two together. Or I think some people just use Timothy hay. But I'm gonna just try mixing them together and see how that works. Um, I don't know if she's had Timothy hay before, so. Apparently they really like the taste of this stuff, so. Let's see. Oh, it's really packed in there. For food, um, the first thing I brought her was this stuff, which I only got because I got this the same day that we picked her up, and it's the only thing supermarkets sell for rabbit food here, and it was too late to go to a pet store. So I just got her this, which isn't very good, and I kind of thought it would be, but then I actually looked it up afterwards, and yeah, it's, it's really like junk food to rabbits, so it's definitely not good for being a full diet of pellets. So I'm still gonna use them as treats and just maybe mix a little bit in because I don't want to waste them obviously but for her actual pellets I'm going to be using this stuff. Burgess XL adult rabbit nuggets with mint. I mean she's not really an adult I don't know because she's quite young still. So yeah this stuff is really good for them I've heard. I'm gonna put it in this container. All right, we got lucky, it actually all fits in there. And then I'll put a little bit of this in. Fuck. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? Hey baby, you are so precious. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. She will just come up to you and she'll sit on your lap. It's so adorable and she loves pets. Can I pet you, baby? Can I pet you? Oh, you like those head scratches? Yeah, yeah. She's very friendly to like my whole family as well. Everyone can like pet her. Super cute. She's not keen on being picked up though. So I'm gonna slowly get her used to that just so I can pick her up if I need to. Because I only really need to when she gets like, you know, stuck inside the couch. I have to try and get her out of there. Which is a bit of a struggle. So we'll work on that, eh, baby? She's just so precious. She's um only about maybe three months old? Three or four months old, I think. Roughly. Um, it looks like she's actually grown a lot this past week. She, I swear she was like so much smaller um, last week. But I do have photos of her when she was even smaller. Hey. It's also not uncommon for people to have wild rabbits as pets, if you are wondering, by the way. Lots of people in New Zealand do it. Obviously you shouldn't like just take an animal from the wild if you don't need to, but but if they do need, you know, help, need to be rescued and or injured or something, they are a pest here in New Zealand, so re-releasing them I assume would be not an option. So then usually for a few hours every day I will open up this whole space so that she can just run down through here and through here. Um, we did originally let her just run around the whole area, but yeah, the couch, she kept getting inside the couch. And as you can see, Toby likes to watch her and sometimes she will chase him and they will play together and it's really, really cute. He is such a good boy. Yeah, he's such a good boy. And same with the cockatiels as well. I can let the birds out, they will fly around the house and he doesn't even care. He doesn't even even care at all. So I'm very glad. Usually I've been too scared to try that, like put, letting him in the same room, but I started trying it like with obviously my supervision always will be supervised. I won't leave him alone with any of the animals, but he doesn't show any interest in like, you know, chasing them or anything, which is good because yeah, I've had dogs who do do that, but um, he is not like that. I do want to make it clear though, I don't recommend everyone does that. It's very much depends on your dog and you should be very careful doing it. I only started doing it recently after years of not doing it. I just got lucky that he doesn't care about the other animals, but some dogs definitely will. Hey Basil, she loves doing binkies. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. You are so freaking cute. Yeah, but she really likes the, like, when the sun comes in through the window. She likes lying here or lying, like, when the fire is on. 
<laughs> she likes sniffing him. So cute. Give me Basil. Toby does get a bit jealous though. I'm still patting you at the same time, buddy. Whoa! So yeah, that's what's popping. And I'd love to hear if you guys have any tips on what I can add. I do want to add like a hay feeder and like a, you know, hidey, a bit of hidey place of some sort. Um, I'll probably put her bed back in here, but it's just a little bit of pain to wash it. Um, so I'm just hoping I can get her to like stop using that as a little box and use this instead. We will see though how that goes. But yeah, I'm still learning um, and hopefully we can get her to be free range soon. So yeah, hopefully I'll make more videos about her in the future. And yeah, I'll definitely be posting about her like on my Instagram, my pet Instagram soda pets as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.